guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's Saturday for me and I couldn't be more thankful. <laughs> uh, before we get started in today's reading, I want to show you guys a quick passage from one of my favorite books life-changing that I've ever read in my life. It's called Awakening the Buddha Within, Eight Steps to Enlightenment. I'll make sure to include this in the description below. I felt like this passage really relates to the way that we're living here in the United States. Um, it's such a hectic, busy life. It's often we forget that, uh, that mindfulness and meditation is just as important as eating and drinking water and breathing. Uh, so here we go. It's not helpful to wait until you have more time for meditation or contemplation <clears throat> because it may never happen. Cultivating spirituality and awareness has to become a full-time vocation. And for most of us, this has to take place within the context of a secular life here in the Western Hemisphere. For you, this seeker, what matters most is how you attend the present moment. This includes motivation, intention, aspiration, desire, hope, and expectation. This is not just about what you do, but how you do it. The present moment is where the rubber actually meets the road. Your traction on the path, spiritually speaking, depends on how you apply your heart and soul. Or is it not most transformative most earth-shaking to pierce the veils of self-deception and illusion and crack the eggshell of ignorance and to intimately encounter oneself. Through honest self-inquiry and no holds bared meditative introspection over a sustained period of time, one can take apart and deconstruct the hut that ego built, thus entering the mansion of authentic being. One need not travel distant lands, seek exotic mystical experiences, master esoteric mantras and uh, treatises, or cultivate extraordinary states of mind in order to experience a radical change of heart and inner transformation. Spiritually speaking, everything that one wants, aspires to, and needs is ever present, accessible here and now for those with eyes to see. You don't need to see different things, but rather to see things differently. I'll let you guys ponder with that. Uh, today I'm going to be using my Whispers of Lord Ganesha. These cards are my absolute favorite right now. I'm feeling super in sync with them. They've changed my life. They've brought me so many incredible messages. And it, it's been such a surprise because Ganesha comes from the Hindu culture and it's just been so fun to connect with so many different cultures and learn about each one of their beliefs and to see what they have in common and their differences. I live for just experiencing new, new ways of thinking. Uh, I got these cards ooh, through a shamanic priestess, actually. She gifted them to me. The first card we have is protection. Seems interesting <laughs> with this whole COVID-19 thing that's going on. Inner knowing and drive. All right, guys, we got our cards. You have a place inside you that holds your most significant answers. Within each of us lies our intuitive knowing. Motivation and ideas are present, yet untapped in the space within us. The spark of the divine waits patiently for us to tune in and retrieve our guidance. This is a time of soul searching. 
you are in a phase of introspection where you are drawing your attention and focus inward and looking for guidance within. You have a strong need to understand, not just at the surface level, but also to really know why things are unfolding in the matter that they are. You now have access to the inner knowing that the truth and acceptance you seek is within you. This is a perfect time to take a step back from your day-to-day -day life and deeply contemplate your motivations, principles, and values. Seek the truth. Work with Ganesha and see that through meditation, consideration, and self-assessment, the opportunity to evaluate your direction and personal goals awaits you. Your priorities may shift as you develop a deeper perspective. Take this opportunity for some much needed alone time. Uh, wow, that was divinely placed, a divine message to certainly many of us that are having to spend all of this time quarantined. Definitely use this time to meditate. And as instructed, you know, make sure you're asking for help. It's, if you've never tried it on sitting alone in your thoughts, you should uh, you should start by doing it with one minute. Um, every, usually every morning when you wake up or take one minute before you go to bed and just meditate, think of Ganesha, call his guidance, his presence, his energy, and allow him to help you get to that inner truth within you. 20, protection. Protect your energy as you lift your vibration and frequency. As you continue on your spiritual path, you begin to lift in vibration and frequency. As you continue to experience new levels of love and light, your energy body undergoes an essential transformation. These changes in the energy body require the past pain and limiting views of self be released. When this happens and the pain comes to the forefront of your experience, it can definitely feel like you're taking quite a battering. Ask Ganesha to surround you with the, his beautiful energy at this time. You may envision this energy as red, yellow, or white color, or in any color that resonates with you. Imagine this energy is filled with love and light. It is said that Ganesha oversees the angels of protection. Ganesha's light energy serves to release any negative energy within its field into sunlight. Visualize negative energy, entities, memories, or stuck energy being released from your spirit, mind, and body. When previous pain shows up, it may not be a clear-cut memory of a particular past event or feeling of fear. Past experiences may be reflected in your current challenges and lessons. It appears in a form that will trigger you now. Bring enough resistance and distraction to be dealt with immediately. Keep in mind to respond with love. You are sure that you will continue to grow and evolve through this challenge. Ganesha will assist you in protecting your energy for the best possible results. Drive, 14. Confidence as well as unity of purpose and control are desirable. Ganesha urges you to think about getting back to the basics. It is a great time to lighten your load or simplify your life. You may have had a tendency to overextend yourself or overcommit to social activities. Cut back on your schedule so you can zero in on something that you are called to do. This card indicates new motivation or inspiration. If you have been feeling stuck in a situation or in a situation or finding a solution, rest assured the energy is going to start moving again. You do not have to choose to go alone on your path. Make sure that if you do bring others with you that they have the same goals and objectives in mind. Pay attention not to linger in relationships or friendships that are not going anywhere or settle just because you feel obligated. This is not a time to be complacent. If you want to create changes in your work, explore what your options might be. There might be an increase in finances, but this is not a time to be spending money. 
bide your time and prepare for what is coming. This might also indicate that a trip or extended travel is on the horizon. I don't know about that with Corona, but. Ganesha, we would like to thank, to thank you for this reading and to thank you for blessing us with you with your energy. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, please hit subscribe if you liked it or didn't like it. Make sure to let me know. I love feedback.